Hi, future fifth graders. My name is Miss Collins. We got all of the questions that you guys asked about what it's like at Highcrest, and I've asked some of my current fifth graders to answer them for you. We hope we get all of your answers for you, so sit back and enjoy the show. Hi! Hi, I'm Phoebe. And I'm Abby. Um, some of you have some questions about how much homework you get. First of all, it depends on the class. In creative arts, you usually don't get that much homework. Math and science. In math and science, you usually get more homework than you do in other classes. Sometimes you do labs, which you have to finish at home, or sometimes your teacher assigns homework that you have to do just at home. Um, for ELA, you usually have to do um, book club books, and then you have to finish reading at home. Otherwise, there's also weekly homework with Medina and Dua. Amount of homework. Usually, you're the, the, it depends on the class of how much homework you get. Sometimes your teacher assigns more homework on other days than they do on like other on other days too. Um, usually, when the, your teacher assigns homework, it's due a few days after she assigns it. Um, but if you miss homework, you have to go to homework assistance. Here's Anna and Mia to talk about homework assistance. Hi, my name's Mia, and I'm Anna. We're here to talk about homework assistance. You get homework assistance if you don't complete work that was assigned. You go to homework Hi. assistance during yes, lunch and recess. Some teachers give homework assistance more than others. Some teachers don't like it, so they won't send you as much. Other teachers give you three strikes before you go. Homework assistance is in a classroom that changes every year. You can only go to homework assistance when the teacher gives you a pass. If you lose the pass, then you can't go. Those were some tips about homework assistance. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye. You guys asked what homeroom was like. You'll start your day every single day with about 15 minutes of homeroom. In homeroom, you'll do attendance, your lunch count, what you want for lunch, as well as any other final fun activities and games. For example, we do Thinking Thursday, Typing Tuesday, Wonder Wednesday, Free Friday, and on Mondays, we watch the live HMS broadcast. Your social studies teacher in fifth grade is also your homeroom teacher, so that'll be a familiar face. Your homeroom teacher could also be your language arts teacher or your math and science teacher, but primarily you'll have two main teachers at Highcrest. The other teachers you'll get to know really well too. Creative arts you're going to go to for six weeks and you're going to go every single day for six weeks. So you'll go to arts five days a week for six weeks. You'll go to music five days a week for six weeks. Then every six weeks you'll rotate, but you'll do that with your homeroom so you'll know exactly where to go. You also will go to your foreign language every single day, and that will be at the same period every single day, every single time. So as you can tell, our schedule is pretty repetitive. You'll get to know it really, really, really quick. Fourth graders, I'm Hannah, and we're in the broadcast studio. This is Kenzie and Nora. In fifth grade, you get an iPad and a charger. If you break your iPad, you take it to tech support, and they take and they replace it, or they fix it depending on the size of the crack. If you have your case on when you break it, the district covers most of it. Um, your lock screen must be a copy of the iPad O, which is a list of rules that you must follow completely when using your iPad. School use an app with all your subjects, and that's where your teachers assign homework and post things you're going to do in class. The tech support is Miss Sloan, who is the fifth grade tech teacher, and Miss Sutton was the sixth grade tech teacher. And finally, there is Miss Phillips, who is the school technician. You are the Yes, so when you relate to high Chris, you literally just get a pass. It's not hard at all. You Even if you get a lot of passes, it doesn't really do anything. You're just late. You should just not do anything. It's exactly like all of your other elementary schools. I was late a lot. If you get three passes, though, uh, <laughs> if you get three passes, then, um, then you have to have a talk with, with um, why you are late yes. and why you were late. Thank you. Goodbye. There's no punishment. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Why would you let? Uh, well, I said that we play video games, but okay. So um, you have to figure out this poem. Say what your name is and why you are there. Okay. My 
really want to fill this out too. No. You have to. Okay, so basically, after you get a pass, you go to your homeroom teacher. Well, you get a pass from the nurse, and then you get to your homeroom teacher, you give it to them, and then they, they say, all right, well, that's why. That's why we basically have it. So you are completely fine. So, in conclusion, just don't be late. Or don't play, don't be late. If you are in house one and four, you have recess first. If you are in house two or three, you have lunch first. At recess, you can play on the playground, play on the blacktop, or where there are basketball hoops, and you can play in a small fraction on the fields. At the end of recess, the recess supervisor, who's normally Mr. Kronosek, will blow a whistle, and everybody will line up in their classes, and there will be an order that you will go in. If you are the first part of this period recess, you are walking with your classes to the cafeteria. There are three options for lunch. Hot lunch, brought lunch, and snack lunch. There are two lines at the entrance to the cafeteria, which we are standing in front of right now. One for hot lunch and the other for snack bar. So now we're going to show you around where those two places are. Yeah, there are two lines, one here and one here. One of the lines goes to the Last week of school, if Chef Joy or you know that. That's, that's just like what they always have a lunch menu right there, but this is May, so it's not the right one. So once you get all your food here, like they normally have the main course here today, it's like sloppy joe. Like you put on side dishes like chips and there's awesome fruits here and sometimes you chocolate milks and any juices and stuff like that. Then right here you put in the same lunch coat as like your oh, yeah, elementary yeah. school. And then you, and they accept you, and then you just go over here, and say at any one of these tables. Yeah. This is where you put the food away. This is so like a garbage, garbage and recycling, where you put your leftover drinks, and then when you put done, you put your tray over there. Then uh, one of the people working at lunch will take your tray. There's a clock right there. And then that's all. And then the second line, which is snack bar and brought one. So. This is where you go to get snack on the bottom. Staircase right here, this leads to the sixth, sixth grade. Sixth grade hallway because sixth grade is up to the sixth grade on the first floor. This is so the hot hot. This is called the hot hot hot. And this, this is open every Wednesday to buy things ranging from 25 cents to $2. Like, you can buy like pop sockets for your phones, styluses, stuff like that. Here, here, here are the lunch breaks. Yeah, so. At the beginning of every day, normally at home we social study, which is for us, home is obviously not even a period, and social study is the second for us. You bring your lunch right now here, so if you're bringing, take your lunch out here, don't get a tray from over here, then just go sit at wherever you want on the table. This is a spoon. And then there's, there's a sink <laughs> that we never use. I've never seen anyone use a sink, but there's still a sink here. And then this is where the drinks are. Slot. Slot, but there's usually like chocolate. And then you got, and then you got like the jello, the whatever, I don't know what that's called, the yogurt. Yeah, we can't all oh, listen to you guys. Sauce, sauce. Here's where there's the sandwich of the day is. Turkey sandwich is the sandwich of the day. Try and show you what it is. Well, Yogurt and that is a uh, cream cheese and cheese stick there. And then there's usually bagels. It's right like depending on what day it is, they either have a just normal bagel, sometimes they have a chocolate chip. And here's where Rice Krispies are on uh, first Tuesday. Yeah. First Tuesday of every month. Yeah, and cookies. And cookies, like the hot lunch is where you put in your code. Like, they have here's the gaming PC right here. Put that in. Let's just play See, like the teachers the like select what you want, yeah. and then you just go sit down and eat. And that is what lunch is like in high class. 
in this cafeteria is much bigger than any cafeteria in elementary school, I promise you. Ground, where you go out for recess, the playground is bigger than elementary school ones. You can swing on those, the there's monkey bars. Is it just the Often there's a puddle, big puddle there. Yeah, there whenever there's, there's, there's a puddle there, there, like you do games where you have to like jump over it, it's fun. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, it? it's like just a game that everyone plays, it's kind of fun. It's you, fun. Do, you have to jump like that. There's um, there's there's swings over there. There's a lot of swings. There's like 20 swings. There's a lot. There's a couple slides. There's stuff that you can walk on. That's like really bouncy sort of thing. This thing is like a bouncy thing. Like Luke can't jump beyond on it. See, it's bouncy. It's fun. Okay, and then here you can. This to climb up here. So now we're gonna show you the blacktop, like like we said before, there's swings right here. Also, there's the crates where there's a ton of balls that you could use, like football, soccer balls, kickballs, basketballs, everything like that. Four basketball hoops, two, three, four, and then like this full court, or you could just play half court. There's trees back there that you can go behind. That's the re that's the reading bench. This is the tree that I climb before school. The, this is the reading bench, like where this you can sit and read. Line up we go like, yeah, so we line up like right here. So we go by alphabetical school. order, which is I only know the first two. It's Albrecht, Collins. Then I think there's Dininger. Yeah, Dininger. I I don't know the rest, but yeah. So then you walk in and go through that door, this is the and tree that's tree. what we said. So like, bye. Hi, I'm Hannah, and today we're going to be talking about grades in the blue hallway. In fifth grade, you get a percentage grade and a letter grade. There are no pluses or minuses. If you don't complete your work, your grade will go down. You get a grade in every class. You also get one, two, and three grades depending on how you're doing in class. Bye! Bye. See you next, next year! In high class, we have a lot of sports and clubs. If you're into wrestling, we have a wrestling team called the Wilmette Wolves. If you're into running, we have a few clubs for you. There's track, cross country, and girls on the run. There's also a debate team, a basketball club, and a volleyball club. We have a yearbook club to organize yearbooks, and Shark Tank Club if you're into starting your own business. And we also have a beginning band and orchestra if you're interested in learning to play an instrument. We also have a broadcast, broadcast club if you're interested in making clips that will go on to the weekly broadcast on Monday. If you're interested in any of those clubs, you can go to the Highcrest website to find out more and sign up. Hope you find the one that you like and have a great year. Bye! Hi, I'm Michael, and today I'll be talking about snacks at Highcrest. So, some classes, some homeworks have snacks, and some classes don't. Some classes have snacks. For example, our homeroom, we don't have snacks, but other homerooms do have snacks. So, it's basically like, how do I explain this? Well, I'm sure a lot of the teachers, if you say yes, like if you say, I want, like, can we have, can we have our snack? A lot of teachers will say yes. Okay, so in conclusion, some classes do have snack time, but our class, Ms. Collins' class, does not. And, uh, yeah, if we, it, some classes do have snack time, but um, they only have fruits and veggies, and no, like, chocolate and bars. And I'm here to talk about the whiteboard for PE. Usually, each PE teacher, um, they uh, like write something and they say like pens, Jim C, rhymes, Jim A, and um, then the class that you're in, you would have to go to that gym. Also Hello, fourth graders. I'm Campbell, and I'm going to tell you about foreign languages. It is very fun, and you will learn a lot of things. And in some foreign languages, you'll get food. Hi, I'm Alex. And all of the languages that we take here at iCrest are Spanish, German, French, Latin, and Mandarin. The most popular is definitely Spanish. And three whole teachers and three whole classes. In 2050, half the world will become Spanish speaking. Hi, I'm Michael. Wow, Alec. That was great. That was a great fact, Alec. I hope you learned more about the languages. See you next year. Bye. Bye.
hope we were able to answer most of your questions. Don't worry if we didn't answer them or you think of more over the summer. Our sixth grade leaders will be back in the fall before school starts to answer any of those questions that you have so that you can come to Highcrest ready to be a hawk. But for now, I hope you guys have a great summer. You've earned it, and we'll see you in the fall. Bye.